Oh, der hätte ich Good evening and welcome to E True Hollywood Story. Tonight we will be covering Mother Earth. Who is she now and who was she 4.6 billion years ago? Many of you picture Earth how she is now, popular, outgoing, teeming with life, but she hasn't always been that way. Join us as we revisit her Earth's dark history and interview some characters in her life that you may never have known existed. Beginning tonight's story, we will be starting with the Precambrian period. First off, we have Patty the Prokaryote. Perfect. It is my understanding that you lack a nucleus. Is that the equivalent to a human brain? Huh? I'm highly offended by your accusation. I have all of my lungs intact. Thank you very much. My apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to underestimate your intelligence. So, tell me, what was it like during the Precambrian period? It was like really lonely and like Everyone looks like me. Until like 1.3 like million years later, when I first met like Aaron the Eukaryote. I'm sure they all have their limbs intact too, correct? Oh yeah, definitely. Aaron was always like a lot stronger than me because he had more limbs, you know? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. And next we have Jimmy the Jellyfish from 6 hundred million years ago. He was one of the first invertebrate of his time. Welcome, Jimmy. Hey, Gianna. Thanks for having me. Oh, no. Thank you. So tell me about yourself. Okay, gorgeous. Well, I like long floats on the beach and starlit dinners. I didn't really do that much because me and the primitive algae were very lonesome, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, why don't you make this lonesome jellyfish a little less lonesome? Join me for dinner. Okay. Okay, next we have the Paleozoic Era. There happen to be six periods of this era, starting with the Cambrian period and moving on with the Ordocian, Silurian, Denonian, Carboniferous, and lastly the Permian period. We have Philbert the fish here today, and he will be joining us shortly. Tell me, Philbert, what time period are you from? I was actually from the Devonian period. You know? Really? How was it? It was actually pretty sly until like this mass extinction at the end of the period. At the end of the era when like 90% of my marine homies were like knocked out and 70% of my land posse died. It was not cracking. Really? Gee. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, Philbert, but that brings us to a commercial break. Are you tired of the domination of plants, all you reptiles and amphibians out there? Ever since the Paleozoic extinction, after the introduction of the stated plants, you were the minority. Take this, and all of your reptiles and amphibians will become more populated. Extinct me not. It's extinction repellent. Find it in all the local stores for a new love price. And we're now back to review Mother Earth's Mesozoic Era where there are only three periods known as the Triassic, Jurassic, and Creaceous periods. Can you guess who we're bringing in? Yep, you guessed it, Danny the Dinosaur! Rawr! Wow, I must say you're quite lucky to rawr have me here <clears throat> here today. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a heart <laughs> condition. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, I hear after the mass extinction of dinosaurs at the end of the Mesozoic era, let's just say, everyone knew each other. 
Yeah, well, our <clears throat> actually, since flowering plants are coming out, rawr, we all ran into any issues. Rawr, <clears throat> sorry. It's okay because we had our fun times and now rawr, <clears throat> they're all in a better, better place. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. And um, next we have the Cenozoic era. Roar! <laughs> Can someone get him out of here? Now, we have a demonstration of the divisions and subdivisions of the Cenozoic era, and we have Frank the Flower, who's going to be coming to visit us later. Frank, would you like to join us now? So, Frank, tell me about your time period. Well, it sucked. I hated everything about that time period. The fish, the mammals, the other plants, and even the insects. And I needed them to survive. To fall in it. I just... I didn't even live near the fish and I hated them. I had it bad enough being a male pink. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear about that, Frank. <laughs> yeah. And then you guys come in here and dominate over everything. Talking about, oh yeah, and freaking fire. <laughs> What's so amazing about fire? You guys think they're so powerful and have no consideration for anybody. All right, well, that wraps everything up. Thank you for joining us here on E! True Hollywood Story, Mother of Earth. See you soon. Next week we'll be coming Britney Spears and her latest drug editions. Fascinating.